Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa, I am a Seattle-based flight attendant and I take you guys along on my trips with me. Right now I am a reserved flight attendant and crew scheduling called me yesterday and scheduled me for a three-day trip starting today. So I am on two new layovers. I am so excited. I've never been to either of these layovers before. Right now I'm getting ready. I'm set up in the back and I'm getting ready to head to Redmond, Bend, Oregon. It's about a 40 minute flight from here. I am set up in the back. I'm just doing some apple and water juice. <laughs> apple and water juice. Apple juice and water. And it should be, it might be a little bumpy, Captain said, just because there's rain everywhere, but it should be a good flight. I think we have like an hour and a half sit once we get there. And then I am headed to San Francisco after that. So I'm really excited to take you along with me. I'll see you in Bend. Alright, so I just landed in Redmond. We are doing a plane swap. We're waiting for the plane to actually come in from San Francisco and then we're going to turn around and take it back to San Francisco. So we've got like an hour and a half of a sit. I'm going to work on editing a vlog and maybe get some food in me. I have like a salad and some tuna I think I'm going to throw together just because there's no microwave or anything here right now for me to heat up my burgers. So I think I'm going to eat some salad and then edit and cruise and I'll check in with you guys when we make it to the plane. Hello friends, it is 6.20 p.m. Getting ready to board in the next like, five minutes or so, I believe so. I'm gonna go check in at the captain and make sure we're good to go with our flow time because we were told that yesterday the flight going from here to San Francisco was delayed by like an hour and a half or two hours. So we don't wanna board and have passengers wait on the plane. So I'm gonna go check in with them. That's my update for now. Otherwise we are headed to San Francisco and then I'm done for the night. Oh yeah, also the last clips, we just sat in the airport. There wasn't really, it's like one terminal. There's not really anywhere to go. So I just sat, I got the dill pickle Trader Joe's like pre-mixed pre salad bag. So I threw that together with a can of tuna just to get some protein. And it's actually really good. I've never had that salad before, but I really like it. So if you have a Trader Joe's, definitely give it a try. Also, I didn't share, but I had a flight attendant jump seating on my last flight, which means there was no available seats in the cabin because she's in uniform. And she works for the company she was able to jump seat in the back with me it was really fun she was super cool she's been working with the company for like i don't even know i don't know how many years i know my flight attendant that i'm working with has been with the company for 20 years and she's really awesome and really laid back i'm really enjoying getting to know her and flying with her she's super cool and just it's always nice because then i get to ask so many questions and learn so much from them but the flight attendant that I had in the back, she was so great. We were just laughing and chatting after I did service. And she's like, let me know if you need any help. And she was really great. And it always like makes for a nice experience when you get to just chit chat with other flight attendants in the business and talk story about the job and hear their experiences and hear their wisdom, especially if they've been here for a while. So that was a lot of fun too. But I just wanted to share that little, that little nugget and uh, try to be grateful for, for moments like that. Well, hello friends, how are you doing? I just got up to my room in San Francisco. I'm on the ninth floor. I've never been to this hotel before, so it's kind of fun. It's super nice and 
there's a lot going on they had a huge bar they've got a breakfast like coffee shop for in the morning if i want to get some coffee my other flight attendant said that the fitness center is really good here so i might go check that out tonight i did lift this morning i did shoulders i'm going to eat some dinner i know that damon is going to call me on his lunch break soon i might just edit and read and try to get to bed early and wake up early tomorrow my van pickup time is at 2 10 p.m tomorrow so i've got some time in the morning we're in like a residential area we're not really close to like fisherman's wharf or like any of the popular things that i'm like familiar with in the city so i know that there's like a park i might go walk around i'm gonna do a little bit more research tonight and see like what is close by to see if there's anything worth walking to in the morning or if i'm just gonna like go for a walk outside at the park i haven't decided but today was a good day uh two flights and i was done you know i had my whole morning to be at home and to meal prep and got to go to the gym and all of the things so that was really nice and the flights were good our our first flight was a lot of fun i think i mentioned that i had a, a lady jump seating she works for us and so she was just funny it's so funny talking to other uh, flight attendants just about their experience because every flight attendant's experience and their stories are just so unique like it's such an interesting job because it's it's like so individualized we all have the same roles but our experiences are so so different you talk to one flight attendant about flying on say like oh every time i fly to reno and i love it and another flight attendant could be like every time i fly to reno i hate it i have passengers who are intoxicated all the time and they're rude and whatever so it's just so interesting to me how that works but anyway and then our second flight was super super uh light load and so i think i had like 38 passengers in the back like the plane was really empty everyone was mellow and i just served drinks and hung out in the back and that was it so not too much to report there nothing nothing crazy tonight which is good i always say like boring is good when you're flying like you don't want some crazy events going on when you're flying so it was good nothing nothing wild what is wild is the van that came to pick us up usually we have like a, a hotel shuttle van or something that will pick us up and bring us to the shuttle you, i'm not even kidding you guys we were on a bus like a white painted bus it looks like a, a, like a prison transport bus so we were laughing because there's only four of us for about my crew and it was just so funny to me that Oh yeah, there's a whole bus that brought us here. It was a little bit of a drive. We were kind of far from the airport. So yeah, and it's hard to tell in the dark like what's around. So I'm gonna do some research. I'm gonna get out of my uniform. I have to go heat up my food. We don't have microwaves in our room, but there is microwaves on a different floor that I have access to. So I was just down there putting my ice packs in the freezer because we don't have freezers in our room either. And I totally forgot to heat up my dinner. So that was really silly on my part, but I am going to heat that up and kind of chill for a little bit for now. Bye. I forgot to mention the funniest thing. So I went into the room where we put our, like, it's like a little pod where we can put our ice packs and stuff away in the freezer there. And so I go to put my stuff away and I go to reach for my bag and I realize that one of my bags is missing. And I was like, what the heck? I, I knew that I got it off from the bus. I carried it inside the hotel. So I was like, what the heck? So I had to go all the way down to the lobby. And it was just sitting in the lobby, my bag, just by itself, unattended, in the middle of the lobby floor. Like, people were just, like, walking around it. And I was like, oh, my gosh. The front desk lady was like, are you okay? Is your key not working? I was like, no, that's just my bag just sitting here by itself. And she thought that was so funny. She started laughing. So I had to go back down and get that and then get up to my room. But this room is really nice. I did a little room walkthrough. And I don't think I ever talk about it, but I always do a room check and so i just want to avoid that at all costs that is like one of my biggest nightmares is like someone in my room but we have the good lord on our side so we can't walk in fear i usually will check the curtains check the closets check under the bed if the bed has like an opening and just make sure that no one's just creeping in here that doesn't belong in here so 
I always do that very first thing when I walk in the door. I'll like prop the door open with my bags, do my walkthrough, and then I come in the room and get situated. But just a fun little fact, if you are considering being a flight attendant or you're a flight attendant and you don't do walkthroughs, I highly suggest it. Sometimes the pilots are pretty good. Like the captains will like hang outside and just make sure that like everything's good before they go to their rooms. So that is really nice when they like have our backs. I do appreciate that. But uh, yeah, that's all I got. I just want to share that that little tidbit for y'all. Good morning, beautiful people. It is probably like 10.30, maybe almost 11. I had a terrible night of sleep. I stayed up pretty late editing of my vlog and yeah, then I was like, okay, I should get to bed and I just did not sleep great. So I definitely slept in, but I wasn't in a rush to get up. So I'm okay with it. I just got dressed. I just got off the phone with my boyfriend. I just called him to say good morning. He is heading to boxing this morning with some of his friends and I want to go get some coffee. So I know there's a coffee shop downstairs in the hotel. I'm gonna go take a look at it, but I kind of want to get outside and go for a walk. It's pretty nice out. It's like 55 here in San Francisco and there's a little lagoon. My other flight attendant said that last time she was here, there was like manta rays in the water, like swimming around. So I don't know if I'll be able to see them if that, if they're still gonna be here cause it's winter and it's cold, I don't know. But uh, there's a coffee shop that's about a 13 minute walk away and it looks like it's a nice big open space. So we'll check out the one in the lobby first, but I do kind of want to plan to go for a walk. I've got my Bible and my journal and my Jay Shetty book with me. So I'm gonna take that along and maybe go get some coffee, maybe grab some breakfast. I haven't eaten yet today, but I do have some protein oatmeal that I could make when I get back. But I kind of just want to venture out and then come back. My van time is uh, 2.10. So I don't want to be out the entire time and then have to race back, but I do want to go mosey around in the area because I haven't been to this part of San Francisco before and it looks nice. So I'm gonna go walk around, explore. I'll take you guys with me and I'll let you know what we find. And here is my fit of the day. I went for a super comfy, cool girl. <laughs> That's what I call it. But, um, and then I always bring this tote bag. I know I showed it in my last video, but I've got my Bible journal, my book in here. And I like to just bring a tote because I never know what I'm gonna be like carrying. Last vlog, I went to Missoula, Montana and I got this whole box of cookies. And so I got cookies and a magnet and I, I brought this tote. And it's just nice to have like an extra bag just in case, cause you never know what you're gonna end up buying. Or if I wanna go for a walk, it's nice to just have a smaller bag cause I don't carry a purse or anything with me. I just have my luggage. So this is like my stand in purse slash little carry around bag. And that's my piece of advice. It is so nice outside, you guys. Seattle is been warming up. It's been in like the 40s maybe and raining. So it's definitely warmer. It's not snowing as much, but it's so nice here. I think it's like high 50s here. It feels so good. Like I almost feel like I don't even need this jacket on, but it's a beautiful day, y'all. I feel so happy to be here and be in warmer weather. <laughs> kind of silly I got here and the building is closed it's like inside of a business building which it didn't say that it was closed so that's kind of silly on the maps but it doesn't show anything it's that's like one of the hard parts of going and adventuring in a place where you don't know is you just don't know like so it's okay I got to get outside I'm gonna head back to the hotel I think I'm just gonna go to that cafe there was some open seating in there and some tables and chairs. So I think I'll just go sit in the lobby of my hotel and do my reading just to get out of my, uh, sorry, I feel like this car has been like following me and it's super weird. I'll go sit in the lobby to do my reading and grab a cup of coffee. You guys, tell me why I just looked up lunch spots. I was just curious to know what's in the area just because it really is all like business buildings and hotels. But I was just curious to see, so I was looking up like the grocery stores in the area just for next time that I come back. 
and there's a freaking in and out that's about a half a mile away it says it's a 26 minute walk i i literally have burger patties packs with me like lettuce wrap burgers so i'm not gonna do it this time i really want to but i was just like dang it i shouldn't have looked it up because now i really want to go i love in and out that's like my guilty pleasure whenever i go home i get in and out every single time i'm home so it's been a while since I've had it because I haven't been home in a few months and there isn't any in Seattle close to me so I there used to be one like three minutes from my apartment building and then I guess it shut that shut down permanently before I moved there so I kind of bummed me out but also it's good to know for next time right we're almost back to the hotel I might go stop at the water I think I'm just gonna go peek over there just because I'm already outside and then I'll go inside and get some super expensive coffee. It's like $7 for a cup of coffee, which I guess Starbucks is also like that these days. But I just remember like what happened to like our two, $3 coffee cups, you know, like that's like unheard of these days. It's ridiculous. All right guys, I am back in my room. I just got dressed for the gym because I peeped the little gym. I wasn't sure if I was gonna go like right now or if I wanna go when I get in Reno tonight, but whenever I don't go in the morning and then I leave it for going at the end of the day, I always hate my Sorry guys, my boyfriend called right when I was vlogging, but I just came down to the gym. My point was the gym is really nice. I'll show you guys in just a second, but I decided I'm gonna do a quick little full body workout because I always feel better doing it before I work as opposed to having to force myself to go after I've been flying all day. I usually get really tired, so I figured I'd go now and if I wanna do some extra cardio later, I can. But let me show you guys this gym. It's so nice. So we've got this nice big cable machine here, which I'll probably work at. The water's right here too. I was just sitting outside there and then We've got this whole dumbbell section, some steps, and then yeah, all the cardio machines. All right, we are ready to go. I'm gonna get ready to head downstairs. I need to stop on the third floor to go grab my ice packs out of the freezer there. And then I'm gonna head downstairs. It's about two o'clock. My van pickup is at 2.10. So I like to be a few minutes early just so I'm not the last one. The crew's waiting on me. I did see that I am getting evaluated. I have, it's called a check ride. And so one of my supervisors is going to be observing me on this flight back to Seattle. So see, I'm gonna just go back to Seattle. So I wanna take a few minutes just to make sure, like I'm, I'm really confident that I know how to do my job, but I just wanna make sure that I know all the little things and just walk into it knowing that I gave it my all to the best of my ability. It's kind of fun. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. I probably won't be able to vlog a whole lot because I will be getting evaluated and answering questions and stuff like that. So I'll check in with you guys when I get to Seattle. We just landed in Seattle, passed my check ride, which was nice. I was pretty confident going into it. And my supervisor, he even said, he's like, you're really confident. So you know what? It helps when you love your job, but we passed. So that's a big win. We are keeping this plane, but we have like a two hour sit. So I'm literally just set up in first class. I think the rest of my crew went inside to go eat, but I've got a salad and with tuna that I didn't finish yesterday. So I think I'm just going to eat that. I'm not like starving and I also have like a protein shake and some other snacks. So I'm going to save my burger with lettuce wraps for when we land in Reno later tonight. We 
made it to our hotel in Reno. It is 9.50 and our van pickup time is at 9.25 a.m. tomorrow. So we really don't have a lot of time. I'm so glad that I went to the gym this morning. The gym here is so nice, you guys. It has like smooth machines, full machines, everything. So next time I come here, I'll be really excited to work out. But I already worked out today and I don't think I'm gonna work out tomorrow morning because I get to go home tomorrow. I'll just go to my gym tomorrow night whenever I'm done flying. But I am gonna heat up a burger for my dinner. I know it's kind of late, but I wanna get a little bit more protein in me tonight. Our flights went well. They are both pretty smooth. It, Reno is a very turbulent uh, airport, and so it's usually bumpy like every time coming in and out of here. So we were kind of prepared for it. It was a little, yeah, a little turbulent, but other than that, it was totally fine. I my first I was in first class all day today, and my passengers were just very laid back. They were really nice and respectful, and that's always so nice because you never know what you're going to get in first class. I even got to read my book a little bit on the flight because everybody was chill. I had already finished doing service. And yeah, it's just been fun connecting with my crew and my uh, fellow flight attendant. She's really awesome. She just has been here for so long and she's really laid back. And uh, it's nice to talk to other people who also love their job and that aren't negative because you can kind of run into negative Nancy's in this job. I'm going to get into my pajamas. I'm going to wash off my makeup. I'm going to heat up some dinner, call my man. I think we're going to hang out. I'm going to edit. We're just going to like edit over FaceTime together. We like to just like spend quality time but still be productive. So we're either both going to read our own books or edit at the same time and just kind of like be on the phone to like be in each other's presence because that's what you got to do in a long distance relationship relationship. So I'm going to go do that and clock out for the night. I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night. There's nothing like waking up and cruise scheduling, changing your schedule, but actually I'm okay with it. Um, I'm getting ready to head downstairs for our van pickup. We are headed from Reno back to Seattle and then I have a three and a half hour sit now. I'm deadheading to Kalispell after that and then working the flight from Kalispell back to Seattle. And that's it as of now. I was supposed to be doing a Sun Valley turn and that is a long, hard flight anyway. So other than the three and a half hour sit, I'll probably just end up getting some food in the airport when I land, get some coffee. I didn't get any coffee this morning. I just didn't feel red. I didn't want to get up. I wanted to sleep as much as possible. So I'm going to head downstairs and I'll catch you guys when I'm back in SeaTac. I just made it to my plane. I'm working in the back of the plane today, at least for this one flight. And then we're headed back to Seattle. It should be like an hour and a half ride. It should be a good day. Well, I just got back to Seattle. I'm gonna go hunt for some food. Alright, so crew scheduling called me. I got my Vietnamese food for lunch and then I've just been hanging out in the airport. I finished a movie while I ate and then I've just been sitting down here. Uh, I like sitting by the windows for the natural light and was reading my Jay Shetty book a little bit more and I am going to head back up to my plane. The plane should be getting here in like 11 minutes. It gets here at 3.11 and it's just before 3 o'clock. So I did get a call from crew scheduling and I am now working the entire callus filter instead of deadheading on the way there. So I'm not gonna lie, I was excited. I'm feeling pretty sleepy, so I was hoping to get a nap in, but that's okay. We're gonna finish strong and then prayerfully I get to go home after that, but we'll see how that goes. Oh, we made it to Kalispell. I've got one more flight to go and then I'm done, hopefully. Made it back home. Honestly, I was like so nervous that crew scheduling was gonna call me and add on to my trip because the crew that I just finished flying with, they are headed to Vancouver and they're starting a three day trip today and I'm good for two more days. So I was kind of nervous that they were gonna try to use me. The flight, we did a turn, Kalispell turn and it was good. It was completely full on the way back and we had lots of little babies, young children and just like really messy people. It was so funny though, because the Niners were playing the Lions and like half of my passengers were watching that game. And it was just so funny. The captain kept calling to give my other flight attendant updates cause she's like a Lions fan, I guess. So it was just cracking me up that everybody was like so invested in it. But 
alas i am home it was a good trip i'm glad i got to vlog it i had two new layovers so that was a lot of fun i just got home it's and i rinsed off already i got home at like 8 30 and it's almost nine o'clock i want to show you guys i'm doing a little dinner i've been so excited to make this all day but all of these ingredients are from trader joe's and it's basically just like a little personalized pizza i got this indian style flatbread it's garlic flavored and so I just take one of those bad boys and then I've got some fat-free pizza sauce, some fresh mozzarella stackers. I'll show like a close-up of these. These are super good. I got some pancetta and then some sliced prosciutto as well. And then I also have arugula. And so I'm gonna fix it all up and then I'll show you guys at the end what it looks like. It's so good. Let me just do a little bit of this. Like I knew that if I got to go home, this is what I was making. I just like kind of put it together. I've seen people make similar like personalized pizza, but this non bread was good. You really can use kind of any, any crust or anything that you want, but that's all right. We're gonna, I guess we're going crazy with the arugula tonight. I didn't mean to do that much, but right now but i promise you it's gonna be so good this sprinkled it on there last time mozzarella boss let me show you guys i don't have an oven so i use my air fryer to bake everything Well, y'all, that is where I'm going to end this vlog. As always, thank you so much for watching. I know I'm ending it on kind of a chill note and not in the airport, but this is literally what I do. This is like so real when I get done with a trip. Like I'm just so excited to come home, be in my own little space, cook food, get in my sweats and just cruise and chill by myself. Um, so I'm going to probably find a movie to watch tonight and eat my dinner, kind of decompress from, from the trip, but I, I really do love my job and I love getting the opportunity to vlog and to share part of my experience with y'all. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for next week's vlog. It's gonna be a good one. All right, I'll see you guys next week.